this solution, this dashboard has three views. You're in the in inventory view now. You could also do this by accounts payable or accounts receivable. The idea here is for any given customer, you can check what is the AR situation, which generally determines your cash position and what are the levers that you can pull to, to make it better or worse. So which means you can do some what if analysis based on what KPI you want to look at. So I will go back to say payable. This left hand side tells you a snapshot of how life is at the moment. And if some you know invoice got paid while we are talking, obviously these numbers will change. But otherwise these are static numbers on the left. Then the way to look at it is AP or you know, accounts payable, it's not a standalone thing. It right. depends on many different criteria, which is why it is represented as a KPI tree. And you could do what if analysis on how many uh, invoices are paid on time as a percentage. So as you move, you could see that you will get into a red territory at some point, which are all uh, programmable thresholds. You know, these are all configurable. And you know that, okay, then it's a bad situation that your AP might not be in good shape if you start uh, getting into this territory. And this, you know, it, it goes against a real-time calculation against millions of line items, uh, schedule lines, and so on. So it's it, it's quite comprehensive, the amount of data it takes to crunch. Now, since it's based on HANA, you don't see a lot of lag. But I wish I could show this to you on a on a traditional disk-based system to to show how, how long it will take. Yeah. Mm. It'll take a lot of delay, I and mean, people who are used to BW and ABAP reporting, you know, they they can relate on how much time it would. Would it be the kind of thing where you just go away and come back in a while and? Exactly, <laughs> that that is the thing. That's the time as when you. As opposed to sitting here with your manager and going over it right now. Exactly. So the yeah. vision when we developed this use case was, um, a CFO or a controller can take this into a, a quarterly meeting, with you know all the analysts and other division heads and GMs sitting there. And, and start going through the important customers, maybe top five customers, and decide, hey, uh, this is our cash position, and this is how we can manage it. Same thing with, with stock. You know, stock is an, an even nastier situation because it changes all the time, and you know you probably don't have a lo an awful lot of control. Now stock, the big deal with, with stock is obviously the turn rates. You want really high turn rates. So now with a zero turn rate, it looks like you know that that's not a good, thing but you know you increase your turn rate your inventory position yeah, it's it's nicer now turn rate also uh, inventory also is dependent on multiple things and you can control which levers you want to pull for example it's a days of finished good inventory and you could immediately get a new way of doing your what if analysis which is by the finished goods right so you could do that and you could see the impact on each of these KPIs that build it up. So that's the general principle. Now what is missing from this dashboard at the moment is a, a consolidated view of APAR and inventory in, in one view, which will be the phase two of this. Um, the the Dennis Howlett revision. The Dennis Howlett revision. Right, right, yeah. right. It looks like the UI design principle was practical simplicity over Facebook social sexy. Was that the goal? Totally, right? I mean, these were all developed by people who are not particularly artistically inclined. You know, right. these are all people who just face clients day to day. Right. right? I mean, that, so it's not a sexy dashboard, so to say, but um, it's it just serves the purpose. And we didn't want to make it any fancier than how uh, an executive can run with it. And I gave this dashboard to a few C-level people a um, couple mm -hmm. of months ago in Florida. And they could run with this themselves and, and understand what... Um, what the dashboard is trying to do. I didn't have to sit there and teach them. Right? There was no PowerPoint or anything. I just mm -hmm. gave them the solution and they could just play with it. And no learning curve at all for them because no, they, they've used very similar kinds of drags exactly. and drops before. Yeah, yeah, except that it's usually on Excel that they do that. Right. But here, you know, they can go against the actual data, which, which is Freedom useful. from spreadsheets. Yep, absolutely. Much faster calculations. Yeah, and it's based on real data. So there is no artificial manipulation uh, or rounding or anything uh, in between, right? which, which gives greater accuracy. Mm -hmm. And you can't afford to make such big mistakes um, you know, with your top five or top 10 customers. That's not a good thing. Right? So it, 
they they really appreciated that so we are definitely thinking that it's a, it's a very valid use case for hana hopefully at safari we can show this and um at some day in, in near future we'll have a mobile version of it as well cool all right thanks a lot looks good 